we wrote this like 22 minute pilot and then we read it and we we're like this is pretty funny like we could we could totally be the leads in this and mm. we can hire people and we can put this production up and and you know that's when i started to learn like even in canada like you can reach out to bigger names and if right. they like the script they will help you like we got pat mckenna and david ferry oh, wow. um on our first and on that episode um did you reach out to them directly how did you yeah yeah, yeah. i just kind of like you know you just we're called uh, a company's called crazy shirt productions and the reason is every time we want to do something that we think is like well this isn't logical like this isn't a logical thing to do we tell each other all right let's put on our crazy shirts and like let's just do this yeah um yeah we just reach out like i just reach out on facebook said hey i'm a big fan of yours yeah um i have this script would you be interested in reading it and cool. they would read it and then i'd say hey if you like it can you give me a call and then um you know we just said we'll take care of your time we'll respect like your you know just tell mm -hmm. us when you want to shoot and within the time frame that we're working we will set everything up for that we'll make it e really easy for you um so what was the the pilot about what was the it was sorry. about these two guys that work at a in a in a, a complaints department for a really really shitty network that's continuing to make like very uh and very uh Re like really beginning to program like really ridiculous ideas to try to stay alive and stay fresh in the marketplace okay um like kind of like a spike tv almost like okay. really making stuff that's like offensive and stuff and then yeah. they work in the complaints department so and then what happens is they get rope they hate their jobs and they get roped in to being the the camera and boom on a paranormal investigator show that this like journalist that takes herself very seriously reluctantly accepts because she just really needs a job uh, and then the three of them go and then in the world the idea is that paranormal activity does actually exist but these three are just too stupid to actually figure it out right so then like they start uncovering things oh, uh cool. accidentally almost right um yeah and it was fun it was a great experience like we shot the pilot we shopped it around a bit we learned a lot of lessons on how to pitch to producers and yeah and all that stuff how did you navigate that whole world like who which companies did you approach i don't know if you're allowed to talk about that but just you don't even have to take names but how did you decide which production companies to, to approach and pitch um, and whatnot well like it's l like a layered attack right your first first line of attack is um you reach out to people that you know or friends of friends right mm -hmm. someone you've met that you know is good friends with your good friend you go hey can you put in a good word can i tell can i get this like project in front of them can i get this script in front of them um that's like step one and maybe they'll be able to help you mm. uh after that you start looking at other companies that are doing similar stuff and going okay we can fit into their programming right like mm -hmm. we wouldn't take that show to ytv that would be crazy right but we would take it to can you say who you did take it to uh that show we didn't take to anyone of okay. any value like no okay. we didn't get very far with that uh we we pitched to a couple of smaller production companies um that had done shows that were very similar and we just reached out to them and said hey we know you and like you know you just put the person's name into facebook and see if you have any mutual friends mm. someone that's a good friend right. of yours that knows you can connect you mm -hmm. you know uh, word of mouth really goes very far and, 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 and like when someone vouches for you it really makes a difference right um so that show was what it was and then we were like okay what are we going to do next and then we did a, a short film uh that did like the festival circuit mm. of a couple of small festivals and then we ended up signing a deal with bell media um for a eight-part series uh called touring to which scott and i then co-created um we wrote and then we also starred in with Graceland Kung as the uh, third lead. Okay. And yeah, we shot for like 10 days. We shot this series. So Bell Media, we had licensed the show idea to them, but they gave us ownership of the show still. Oh, nice. So we were able to then go and shop it. And we ended up uh, selling it to a distributor who went and tried to sell it on like an international, in, on the international, oh, cool. uh, on the, in the your own stuff. So you, you find the right mix of people. Um, and as you do these smaller projects, you start to get your tribe together and then you can reach out to people and, and say like, listen, do you want to come and shoot this thing with me for 10 days? And they know that, yeah, I can trust this person. I know they, A, will pay me and B, that they make good work and I, right. you know, I can get behind it. Um, uh, but even the, so if they're, yeah, if, if they're looking at a series, um, it, do you recommend they make like a short as a proof of concept for that series? Or I'm just also thinking about like when you're approaching for funding. What is the best yeah, approach? Yeah, um, or something like just a short that's unrelated, because you know they want to see what you can do. They want to see the quality of any finished product and a pitch of your new series. So if you specifically want to make, if you specifically want to make a specific series, yeah. If you're like, I really want to make this series, I would make yeah, like a sizzle reel for that series. I okay. Would very specifically make that. Um, yeah, that would be the best way to showcase it. It's like okay, we're gonna make three minutes of this movie. Right. Right. Or three minutes of this first episode and we're going to make it work and then we're going to go sell that. Um, 
because often I've found like they just want to see they might like it and they might ask you well what else have you done Show yeah us, right? yeah and then the other thing is like if you have a series and you've never made anything before and you have this series that you feel really strongly about that's great but you should also be able to the confidence of I can write anything or not like any genre but like if I had to write a new series I could right it's not right. like your first script is not your magnus opus like mm -hmm. you know like <laughs> everyone needs to take a step back and yeah. like dis you know detach themselves a little bit and go maybe I should just make this into a sizzle reel and maybe you'll make it and go oh this doesn't actually work but if I messed with this did this turned it into a different format oh it, you know what I mean like if you really feel strongly about it make it um and make a sizzle reel and try to sell that mm -hmm. to somebody um, but I think just the number one rule is just to make stuff like, you know, just to kind of always be flexing that muscle, working with people, learning how other people work, learning other jobs. Right. Like our first project that we did, uh, paranormal investigators, we kind of, we basically Scott and I just started volunteering on as many sets as we could, like with all our, that all our friends were on. And, you know, we called all the indie companies. We're like, if you need a PA, just call us. We'll totally do a mm -hmm. day's worth work, worth of work for free. So we started learning what it takes to put a whole thing together because we really didn't know. Um, and we were able to kind of like isolate like, I can't remember the exact number, but it was like 20.